she was sitting next to me when I got to know the diagnosis. So I just, like I said, I wasn't sure about, you know, whether I'll see her grow up. So I just clung to her and I started crying and I cried. And because I was crying, she started crying too. Then she asked me after about two minutes, Mama, why are you crying? I said, uh, Beta, I've got a very serious illness and I don't know if I'll survive. So she said, what illness do you have? I said, I have cancer. So she just sort of thought for a second and then she said, but you said you had a lump in your breast. I said, yes. So That means you have breast cancer. I said, yes. She pushed me away and said, Mama, stop crying. Don't make such a big deal out of it. And after that, she never let me cry. If I ever cried, she would just come and be very upset with me and say, crying doesn't cure cancer. Oh, are you going to get a Nobel Prize for trying to cure cancer by crying? So things like that. So, she, you know, I think she was my biggest support. I'm uh, Keerthi and uh, I studied to be a doctor but I left medicine and I'm now in the civil services. I'm a breast cancer survivor. It's been nine years now. I was detected in uh, 2007, May 14th, 2007. You know how there are some dates that stay etched in your mind forever. This was one of them. Uh, I just thought I was going to die. There were times when I just thought it's really not worth it, you know, I can't go through all this uh, physical and mental torture. But then uh, at the end of the tunnel one knew that there is a silver lining, there is light. I was fortunate to get very good doctors. They allayed my apprehensions, helped me realize that I, there are ways and means to treat the cancer now and so I think that really helped. I think the most important thing in cancer is the can. You can do it. You can overcome cancer. You can get better. So I think we have to remember that. I felt that the most important thing, at least during my treatment, was the attitude. You know, till I was weepy and crying and thinking that I can't get better, I felt that I was not getting back better. And the day I decided, no, I can get better, I have to get better, my attitude changed and I started feeling better. I started feeling that I could fight, I could overcome all the side effects, I could get better. So I feel that the attitude is the most important thing. In Bangalore, I started a breast cancer counseling support group called Pink Hope Support Group with three other cancer survivors. And I think we started it in 2009 and it's going strong. It's been seven years. So I think uh, it's made me see things in, with a different perspective, life. I look at life afresh and it's given me a new start also. It's given me some kind of a meaning in life in the sense with my counselling and when I'm helping other women, I really do feel that I'm contributing something to society, to other people. So it's given some kind of a meaning to my life also.